and welcome, welcome, welcome to Papa Stash Pop. So if you need help with strumming, go ahead and click that link below. That video is not on YouTube and it's all about how to strum better, how to have better rhythm, upstrokes, downstrokes, etc. Now, as for this tune right here, just need your trusty capo and you're in business. It's super easy, super cool uh, chord progression, and it pretty much stays the same almost the whole song. One or two exceptions. So Let's zoom in for a closer look and check it out. All right, so put a capo on to the sixth fret. I'll call out the frets as if they're one, two, three, and four, and the chords as if we're in open position. So for example, C, G, E minor, and D. And that is the actual chord progression. So the only trick to the song is we're gonna hammer on into three of the four chords. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the strings open and you'll actually from that point on use your fingers to hammer on to the strings and make the chord sound okay now what I would suggest to practice this if you're new to this kind of thing is hover right above the strings and then just press down now it's not how hard you press it's how quickly you attack the note right so we're not if we do it slowly it mutes it out if you do it quick you get sound, which is what you want. Okay, so the only chord in this progression you're not gonna hammer on to is the E minor chord. Okay, now that being said, our strum pattern of the song is the same no matter what chord we're on, okay? And it's gonna be down and then down, down, up. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Okay, so that's an example of what it's gonna sound like. You're gonna do two of those for the introduction part, and then after the chorus has happened, I think you do that one time before the verse starts kicking in again. Okay, now, in the verse, once you start singing the verse, you're gonna play that progression three times, and on the fourth time, you're gonna do something different. Okay, so let me give you an example. Okay, now the move I just did right there only happens once in the song. And all I'm doing is I'm taking that C chord. I'm doing our same strum pattern, down, 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 up. And I take this finger and I exchange it with this finger. So same string, the A string, and I move it down to the second fret and then I lift up this finger. I go right back to the C and just let it ring. So we got two, three, four, chorus. Now, play it the same way, same progression is the same, everything's the same, except now on the fourth time, we're gonna do a C to D move, okay? So the chorus is gonna sound like this. follows that same cycle. Now, once we get into the verse again, oh, let me go back, <laughs> rewind. That C to D part.
So now every time we get to the third time around, or the fourth time around, I should say, of the progression in any part of the song, whether it's the verse or the chorus, from that point, we're gonna do that D, or that C rather, to D. Okay, so now instead of doing like we did in the first verse, it's gonna be at the end of the verse, and it's also gonna do that at the end of every chorus. So remember that's on the fourth time through the cycle of the progression. All right, so let's check out the bridge. Okay, now, that's gonna be the first thing that we should practice, sliding from C up a whole step. Okay, now, the next interesting part about this is catching it on an upstroke. Now if you notice, after I catch it on an upstroke, then I catch the chord progression on the next part once we're here on an upstroke as well. So it's... Okay, so it's kind of tricky, right? But you all can do it, right? Okay, so we got... Now what we're gonna do is once we come back on the third time, we're gonna drop down and walk down this C chord. Like we did in the first part of the song, okay? That same thing. So we're gonna go C, A second fret, and then to D. So. And that gets you out of the bridge. So if I came from the solo chord progression, which is essentially the same as the chord progressions of the rest of the song, right? Of the verse and the chorus. You can you can mess around with that D chord. You go, or sometimes I go, and that's going to be. So I just catch a couple upstrokes, right? Experiment with both. They both work. It both happens. You know, sometimes when you get into a song, even if you've written a song and you played it a million times, you you know you mess with it. You know, whatever works live. You're in the moment. Drum fills happen. You know, you're thinking about something else and you're like, oh, wait a second, that wasn't the chord progression. Get back to the normal part, you know? It happens. <laughs> so mess with that. That is the song, it's awesome. Remember, take it slow. Start with just that. And get those hammer-ons down and then remember that upstroke slide. Oops. And that's really the trickiest parts of the whole song. And you got it. Yes! Way to go. Awesome job. See? No big deal. You're playing famous songs. Click the country. Or, well, you know, the strum link. But it helps you definitely in country. Pop, all that stuff. Just going to help you out again. That video is not on YouTube. So check it out down there in the description box. 
Also down there is the website, so feel free to check that out and Facebook. And if you like what you're seeing, share. Sharing's caring, as my second grade or third grade or one of those grades teachers used to say. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. If you want some rock and metal and stuff, check out Papa Stash 102 over there. And it's got all sorts of electric and distortion and session players and awesomeness so check that out as well you guys are amazing thank you thank you thank you once again for checking in at papa's dash pop we'll catch you next time